All right, low key. I think the Master of Masters might be a real one for this. What's going on, guys? My name is Moose Wayne One, coming back at you with another Kingdom Hearts theory. So the Master of Masters was introduced to us in Kingdom Hearts Key and Kingdom Hearts Key back cover, and for the most part, has left the community shrouded in mystery ever since. He's been painted as this man who plays all of his cards close to his chest and is kind of tough to read. We never really know what's going on in his head and what his true plan is. And in the most recent Kingdom Hearts Union Cross updates, we see him talk slightly about his plan and we receive hints on what he wants to do. We find out that he in fact does want to destroy the darkness and that plan will take multiple lifetimes and a lot of planning. And what book should outline and contain that plan? The Book of Prophecies. But if everyone already knows what's going to happen in the Book of Prophecies, why does everyone seem to be in the dark about the Master's plan? And I know what you're thinking, but Brain is supposed to be the virus in the Master's plan, so that's why nobody knows, right? But my only thing is, Ava and Lushu battled before the Keyblade War began, which means the Gazing Eye saw everything that happened up to that point, including Ava and her reaction to hearing the truth from Lushu. Now, I don't know about you guys, but the Master doesn't seem like the kind of guy to not plan for the possibility of one of his apprentices betraying him. This is a really big plan that takes a lot of setup. I doubt the Master would be careless enough to let that slip through the cracks. Or maybe he could, this is just a theory after all. But maybe the reason nobody knows about the Master's plan is because the Book of Prophecies isn't actually that important to the Master's actual plan. But before we get to that, if you want to see more quality Kingdom Hearts content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, support your boy, and turn on that notification button. So right now, we know very little of the Master of Masters. He's had minimal screen time so far, but the way he's used it has been incredibly efficient as he's become one of the more interesting characters in the Kingdom Hearts universe in my opinion. In Kingdom Hearts Key, we only knew him as the original Keyblade Master. He was painted as this powerful person that raised way more questions than he answered. And when Kingdom Hearts Key back cover came out, he quickly became one of the more charming characters in the series because he was able to present that serious side of him so well, but also bring out a whimsical side and add another dimension to the character. The performance throughout Kingdom Hearts Key back cover was stunning. And it's the combination of those two traits that we got to see in back cover that makes him so interesting, even with such little screen time. His personality could change on a dime, and while it was so nice to see a character with such a dynamic personality, it also made me like him because of another reason. It just made him harder to read. And it's because of that ambiguity that you really can't tell if he's a good guy or a bad guy at this point. And in that movie, he gave his apprentices the Book of Prophecies. And that's when it all started. After Lu Xu left on the mission that the Master of Masters entrusted to him with the black box and bequeathing his keyblade, we are left to follow the stories of the five foretellers. However, with the roles he gave the foretellers, it almost immediately caused discord among them trying to fight off the darkness and prevent the light from expiring as it was foretold in the Book of Prophecies. But what if the Book of Prophecies is not important in the grand scheme of the Master's plan? And if it's not important, then what was the purpose of it being there? Well, I will tell you, viewer. I think its purpose was to cause the initial discord between the foretellers and sow the seeds of doubt in each other that would eventually lead to rising tensions between the foretellers eventually causing the Keyblade War. Because I was thinking about the Masters, Lushu, and the Foretellers, and it seemed to me like the roles he gave them didn't really make sense, almost as if they were meant to cause tension in the group. I understand Ira being the leader, and Ava gathering Keyblade Builders to become Dandelions, but it seemed like Envy, Ased's, and Gula's roles that were given to them by the Master to keep peace were actually created to do just the opposite, because they were the key to causing that doubt between them. In the case of Ased, it seemed like the Master used Ased's feeling of wanting to be the leader against him by purposefully making him Ira's right hand man. And the secret role the Master gave Ased to step up and take over as well would happen whenever those tensions reached a boiling point. And to make sure tensions got there, he used Envy to act as an observer, which further complicated things when Ased accused her of reporting everything the others said and did to Ira. And then, there's Gula. Gula's role to take the lost page of the Book of Prophecies and figure out who the traitor was drove the Master's plan home. And the Master even told Gula to trust no one but himself. And throughout back cover, Gula seemed like he did just that for the most part. He was always the odd man out, always looked like he was up to some shady stuff, and at the end, he even decided to do something forbidden and call the Master of Masters back by summoning Kingdom Hearts. But what if, in back cover, the Master put the idea of a traitor in their heads just to get them to distrust each other, but in reality, there was no actual traitor. He only needed them to believe there was a traitor with the Dark Cheer at the appearing so they believed the Keyblade War was approaching just as the book foretold. Now the foretellers jobs were to protect the light, and the Book of Prophecies existed to tell them about the coming Keyblade War. 
but it's the knowledge of the Keyblade War that caused them to act the way they did in order to prevent it. And it was the combination of the Keyblade War, Envy observing and reporting to Ira, a said wanting to be leader, and Gula not trusting any of them that led to the Keyblade War actually happening and the Master's prediction coming to pass. And the role of the Book of Prophecies was to warn them about that Keyblade War. But beyond that, what if the Book of Prophecies fulfilled its actual purpose just by telling them about it? What if the only thing that mattered that had to do with the Book of Prophecies was making sure that the Keyblade War in the Age of Fairy Tales actually happened? You may be asking yourself at this point, but Moose, doesn't that mean the Book of Prophecies does actually matter? And my answer is... Yes, but actually no. We know in the most recent Union Cross update that the Master of Masters has a plan to defeat the Darkness. He said there is a way to defeat the darkness but it would take time and careful planning and that one or two lifetimes would not be enough, but that they would do it all in an attempt to defeat the darkness. Also, side note, I can't be the only one who thought of this in this scene. <laughs> However, with what we know about the Book of Prophecies, we don't know if what's in it is relevant to what's going on now. We all think that darkness prevailing and light expiring has some grand meaning, but I was thinking of it and what if it actually doesn't? I think it's just the master's way of ensuring people behave the way that he needs them to for his actual plan to play out the way he wants it to. The Book of Prophecies is just an outline for other characters in the story to be placed exactly where they want it to be for his actual plan to be put into action. And what is that plan? What could the Master of Masters be planning? What's in the black box? And my answer to that, dear viewer, is actually- <laughs> Nah, nah, I'm just playing. But actually, what I think is in the black box is the secret to the Master's true plan. It could be the true Book of Prophecies. Which could also tie into the reason that he was laughing while he gave the box to Lushu. Because we do know the Master has a good sense of humor. So maybe the reason he was laughing is because the box contains the outlines to his true plans in the true Book of Prophecies, and the ones that everyone else has are actually fakes. But honestly, I think the Master's plan could go one of two ways. It could either be a better version of Xehanort's plan, where he actually does want peace but is willing to resort to darker methods to achieve it. However, and this is the plan that I hope it is, it could be a way for him to have darkness out of his way so that he alone can control the worlds and rule over them himself. And what's in the black box? It's the key to everything. But any case, that's my theory on the Book of Prophecies. Let me know what you think down below in the comments if you agree, disagree, or have some theories of your own. Make sure you like the video if you want to see more theories like this, share the video with a friend, and subscribe to the channel to support your boy. My name is Moose Wayne one and remember, stay strong, remain humble, and keep moving forward.